Sung Yun Lee is a professor of Korean studies at Tufts University. He joins us from Burlington, Massachusetts for more. So I feel like what is extraordinary is after 10 years of this very interesting person in power, in a nuclear power, how little we still know. There's always these rumors about his health, palace intrigue. How would you characterize Kim's leadership today and what we now know that we didn't know years ago? Well, in terms of the development of weapons of mass destruction, the first decade under the third generational North Korean dictator has been a smashing success. Kim Jong-un has overseen over 60 missile flights of various um, range, short range, intermediate range, three intercontinental ballistic missiles in 2017 alone, and four nuclear tests. So in terms of increasing his lethality, Kim Jong-un has seen a lot of success. Uh, otherwise, in terms of humanitarian needs, in terms of access to food and addressing the chronic food insecurity situation, it's been a disaster. North Korea, many people say, is unpredictable. What they really mean is it's unconventional, it's bizarre, it's different. So this trajectory, ominous trajectory, was entirely predictable 10 years ago when his father died and he took over. So now we hear Kim talk about being willing to have a dialogue with South Korea, wanting to officially end the Korean War, but he puts these conditions on it, conditions for the U.S. Do you see this as genuine openness on Kim's part, or is it all just a charade? Well, it's been the same pattern over the past five decades, starting yep. with his grandfather. After a period, period of provocation, the North Korean dictator changes the melody to a happier one and says, hey, let's talk. We saw it in 1972 when Kim Il-sung met with various Americans, journalists, and others. We saw it in the early 2000s when Kim Jong-il Kim Jong-un's father, after six years of acting hostile and provocative and bizarre, not meeting with a single world leader, not traveling out outside his country, all of a sudden showed up in Beijing in May 2000 right. and then received the South Korean president the next month, Putin the next month, sent an envoy to Bill Clinton and so on. So what we saw in 2018, Kim Jong-un coming out of his shell was something like Rambo 3 or 4 by then. <laughs> right, and he got that world stage, but has only increased his nuclear arsenal. All right, Sung Yoon Lee, I wish we could speak to you more, but thanks so much for joining us.